Good morning, prayer warriors. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. You know, it's funny. Um, I'm wearing this tie-dye shirt, and I didn't even think anything of it. But if I would have wore it last month in June, people might have assumed that it was in support of Pride, you know, Gay Pride Month. And um, it's just so sad, you know, where our culture is going. But anyway, it's going to be another hot day. Haven't blow dried my hair yet, which is um, which is nice right now to have wet hair to keep you cool. But I pray everyone had a beautiful week. Today is Sunday, and we're thrilled to go worship the Lord. You know, may we never forget all those months of COVID where we couldn't gather. You know, I'm not sure how many of you know of the Brooklyn Tabernacle Church in New York. Pastor Jim Simbola, um, they just had their first gathering last week. Gosh, so for New York, they were totally shut down, you know, from whenever it was March 2020 all the way to July 2021, you know, and this is an amazing, vibrant, wonderful, um, Holy Spirit, God-centered church. So I just can't even imagine how thrilled they were to be opened. Um, so this morning in Acts, I was reading about Paul and Silas being in prison and Silas being, um, you know, the the commentary was saying that, he, you know, they had been beaten and then thrown into jail. And, I, you know, we read those things and sometimes we just gloss over it. But the commentary was saying he couldn't sleep probably because of how yucky it was in the jail cell as far as like the air, you know, damp and gross. Um and then the pain of his wounds and i just i never thought of that you guys how you know if you have a a cough or a, a twisted ankle or back pain neck pain sometimes it's hard to sleep because of actual physical pain and and the commentary was saying dr charles stanley that silas was in pain you know from being beaten and i just thought wow so he couldn't sleep so instead of ruminating in his mind oh poor me i'm thrown in jail oh poor me my muscles ache and my wounds are are full of you know blood and they're not being tended to properly and you know oh woe is me he and and paul decided to sing it's at first it said they were praying and i was thinking you know when we pray sometimes it turns into song and i don't know if any of you joined pray with me yesterday but the lord kept giving me songs now I can't sing so I didn't sing them but I quoted them and so the prayer time turned into singing and praising time in the middle of the night and then suddenly there was an earthquake and then the bars fell open and they were free and so I just love that story you guys know that story it's just miraculous and amazing the way God could give them those songs in the night to worship. And there's just something about worship. I was sharing with Erica yesterday that last summer after Isaac had the seizure, I had a really hard moment and I was just really struggling. And so Chuck said, I'm taking Isaac with me to the store. You stay home and just have some time alone. And I didn't want to be alone. But Chuck just left. He said, I'm taking Isaac. I'll see you later. I'll be right back. So he left and I was just there alone. I was really sad with everything that was going on. Trying to call the doctors. Trying to get a second opinion for them to do something about this cyst. And it was just a hard, hard, hard season. A hard, hard, hard day. So I cried and cried and cried and sobbed. And my head started pounding. And I just laid on Olivia's bed. And I just hugged her pillow. And then I, um, I prayed a little and then I just put on a worship song and then I just let that song soothe me, you know, and try to sing along the best I can. And I don't know if you guys have ever been there where you're so down, you can't sing, but you can mouth the words, you know, how great is our God sing with me? How great is our God? And maybe you're not singing it like vocally singing it, but your spirit is singing it. How great is our God? Sing with me. How great is our God? And all will see how great, how great is our God. Age to age he stands. 
our times are in his hands. My heart will sing how great is our God. And as you know, that's Chris Tomlin. I love that song. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to encourage you today to sing a new song to the Lord, to sing it all out and worship, you know, how foolish of Governor Newsom to say last summer, okay, churches are open, but no singing. Yeah, right. A heart that loves Jesus can't help but sing his praises. You know, and I know some people don't like to sing in church. Maybe they're like me, they have a bad voice or they have other um, hesitancies for whatever reason you don't sing or other people don't sing, you know, I encourage you, try it out. Try to sing. The people behind you are not listening. You know, the people, we're there to worship Jesus. I mean, what's the purpose of church? The purpose of gathering is to remember Christ's life, death, and resurrection, and to proclaim his coming again. We're there to worship Jesus. Yes, it's a wonderful gathering. Yes, we have Bible study. Yes, we, you know, they, they receive an offering and we, you know, say hello to our friends and, and so forth. But we're there to worship Jesus, to sing out his praises. And so, you know, think about it, you guys. They were praising God in hymns. They were singing out loud. Then the earthquake came. What would happen if husbands and wives said, you know what? We're going to turn off the TV and we're just going to sing to Jesus right now. Lives would be changed. Hearts would be transformed, you know? And so I encourage you, and this is an encouragement to myself. Let's sing with all our might to King Jesus because he is so worthy. And so, Father, I just declare your praises this morning. You are God. You are good. You are the potter. We are the clay. You are the good shepherd of our souls. You are high and lifted up. Isaiah said, I saw the Lord seated on the throne, exalted, and the train of his robe filled the temple with glory. And so we will forever sing your praises. We sing, holy is the name of the Lord God Almighty. We sing, blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. And we just can't wait for you to come back for us, Jesus. And so until then, we're going to sing. We're going to sing while we're waiting. You know, Lord, I just am reminded when I was little and we would go to Grandpa Barba's house before Santa would come, the aunties and the uncles and my mom would say, you guys, Santa's not going to come until you sing. And so we would sing out Jingle Bells and we would sing out Santa Claus is coming to town. It was just a fun Christmas tradition. It wasn't real. But it was fun to sing and then Santa would come. How much more shall we sing in preparation of our hearts for Jesus to come and you are coming. Your word speaks over hundreds of time prophecies of your first coming and your second coming and we can't wait Jesus. Make our souls ready. Ready ourselves, ready our spirit. May we be a bride adorned, decked out, beautiful, Lord. I think of all of the beauty treatments that brides do before their wedding day. They get a pedicure, they get a manicure, they get their hair done. They pick out their dress months and months in, in advance. They pick out the venue. They pick out the bridesmaids dresses. They pick out so many things and their own regiment to make themselves beautiful for their groom for this one special covenant marriage day. How much more, King Jesus, should we be ready ourselves, singing praises, Lord, worshiping you, Father. You are worthy. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Holy, holy is he. I'll sing a new song to the one who sits on heaven's seat. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is to come. The earth is full of your glory, Jesus. And we declare your praises, Father. We worship you. We worship you. Make us into worshipers in spirit and truth. I remember that precious little girl, King Jesus, singing, I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. She must have been four or five years old at Ontario Christian School. And she didn't care who heard. She didn't care if she was off key. She was singing to her Jesus. That's how we should be. Give us childlike wonder, even like precious Selena, my friend who wrote that song, Child Childlike wonder. Give us a childlike wonder to sing out your name, Lord Jesus. And what is your name? You are Emmanuel, God with us. You're Alkanah, jealous God. Jehovah Nisi, your banner of love is over us. Jehovah Rapha, our God who heals. Jehovah Jireh, our God who provides. Jehovah Sitkanu, the Lord our righteousness. Jehovah Mekadisham, the Lord who sanctifies us. 
Jehovah Shema, the present God. Al Roy, the God who sees. Al Shaddai, God Almighty. Adonai, our master. Elohim, our creator. Jehovah, the great I am, Yahweh. You're all of these things and more. And then Jesus, your name, good shepherd, the gate, the door, the way, the truth, the life, the vine, the resurrection and the life, the Holy One of Israel, Son of Man and Son of God, Emmanuel. You're so many things to us, Alpha and Omega. And we just sing your praises, Lord. You're good and mighty and awesome, full of light and love. We just worship you, God. We forget even what we need to pray for, God, because we're just enraptured by your love. And so, Jesus, this is Sunday. May we renew our Sabbath, remembering what you did for us, God. You created the earth in six days, and the seventh day you gave a day of rest, a memorial that we, our bodies, we need rest, and we need to, we need you. You are our rest. Be still and know I am God, you, you say, Lord. And so we want to pray for those who are struggling with cancer. Father Tim Kruger, my dear friend, Regina, Lord God, Jennifer Berry, Christina Wolf, um, Riley, my little neighbor who's battling leukemia. So many people, God, battling cancer. It is awful, Lord. It's a terrible a uh, decaying horrible disease but you are bigger than cancer you are bigger than death you're bigger than disability i pray for those who are mourning today comfort their aching hearts lord for tony madison michaela and noah my dear friend victoria went home to be with you february it is now july but that doesn't make the sting any less they say that time heals but lord you're the one that heals jesus you are the balm in gilead and you're the one that makes us brand new and we know that i know i'm going to see my sister victoria again so would you comfort tony madison michaela and noah today god and for those battling various illnesses and ailments i pray for them comfort them be with them i pray for those precious sisters in christ who are in under his wings and their trial is emotional they have pain i pray you would touch them you would heal them you would minister to them you would do what only you can do god i pray for those with disabilities lifelong disabilities life altering disabilities that you would be with their caretakers and caregivers be with isaac be with faithy joshua lord i pray for all those who have illnesses that they literally are life altering god i think of johnny erickson tata so many decades being in a wheelchair and then she got breast cancer and still she's a beacon of hope to the world lord so would you use us use our life to be a light to this world i pray for the women's conference in la july 24th i pray god for all the sunday morning services today god for pastor jack hibbs for um R greg laurie david rosales joe mctarsney Raul Reese, John Corson, Ben Corson, all of the pastors in this area and in all of the states, God, that you would give them strength and endurance and a sound mind to preach your word boldly in these last days. Amir, I pray for him. I pray for Victor Marks, God. I pray for my mom, for my family, God. I pray for all the families who are a part of Pray With Me. You know what these families are going through, either whether they're backslidden or they're sick or they have health issues or they have marital problems or uh, we just pray especially for the unsaved and the backslidden. Draw them back with cords of love, King Jesus, please, please. And we love you, Lord. We know that we could go on and on and just pray for hours. But Lord, we just give you thanks because we know that you, Jesus, are the yes and the amen. You can give us songs in the night. You give us hope for you are our hope. Hope personified. Hope has a name. And your name, hope, is Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior, our Master. We worship you. We want nothing more than to be in the center of your will. So forgive us, burn away the dross, cleanse us, Father, and make us worshipers like Paul and Silas. Even with wounds in the jail at night, we can praise you because we're going to heaven. We're heaven bound. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you guys.